Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to go through the basic introduction of land cover stage 2 project man-made and the work demo of laborer in this man-made project. To begin with, let's take a look of what included in the man-made project. So there are four types. First is the three types of parking, including parking lot, inside parking, and outside parking. Number two is pavement. Number three, swimming pool. Number four is paved sports ground, including tennis court, badminton court, basketball court, etc. And uh, pay attention that for tab 1430, any unpaved sports ground, including baseball court, football court, or soccer court, etc., is not required to capture in the stage two memory feature. So we only need to capture the paved feature in this stage. Pay attention. Okay, in the original result, it's already very good. And the required categories are also very simple. So working fast is the key to earning more. Then let's take a look at the key rules for the land cover stage two memory project. First, do not touch buildings. Second, arrows of features with clear boundaries should be no more than 3 pixels. Features blocked by trees or ambiguous are only required to be reasonable and beautiful. Don't over edit. Number 3, default stage 1 features such as road, railway, driveway, sidewalk should be already correct. So no need spend extra time checking. Only fix big arrows when you encounter by chance. Number four, only draw obvious memory features that you can see. Don't draw any unexisting things. So the, <clears throat> the requirement and the rules for the stage two is basically the same as uh, stage one. It's very easy because uh, as we have seen here, so the Arrows of features should be no more than 3 pixels, but the features blocked by trees that are ambiguous that we only require to be reasonable and beautiful. And uh, we also don't need to check the stage 1 feature. And uh, if you see any big arrows by chance, then you can uh, fix a little bit. And lastly, so only draw the obvious memory feature you can see. So uh, and don't you don't need to draw any unexisting things that uh, but you know you don't need to imagine to draw. All right, you don't need to force yourself to draw. Just draw the obvious memory feature. Lastly, let's check of the uh, how to speed up. So first, it's always try to use the repair tool or the cut tool to edit based on the original results as much as possible. So don't delete and redraw. Always use the repair tool to repair. Number two, for missed memory feature, use filling tool or turn on overwrite by existing features to draw. Number three, ignore unclear and ambiguous cases as long as the shapes are reasonable and beautiful. So don't get confused or don't overthink. You can ignore those unclear and ambiguous cases as long as the shapes are reasonable and beautiful. Lastly, for this project, we only need to draw the clear memory features correctly, and you don't need to distinguish perfectly in ambiguous cases. So for example, when it's ambiguous to determine whether this area is parking or pavement, so it can be actually can be either choice. So that's all for the rules, for the uh, tips, and uh, what we need to include for the man-made project. And next, I'm going to uh, work as a laborer to show you guys the demo of how to work properly in this stage of the land cover project. So this is um, how, uh, what the man-made project looks like. So we can check on the categories on the right panel that uh, we have the uh, stage one features here. And on the uh, bottom of that, we have the stage two man-made features like parking, outside parking, inside parking, payment, sports ground, swimming pool. 
So as you can see, overall, the categories is actually very simple and it's very uh, easy to, to distinguish. All right, and just follow the basic uh, requirement that we only need to draw the obvious paved feature for those amb uh, ambiguous or unclear. Make sure the shape is reasonable and uh, you don't need to uh, draw anything that is not existing. So let's uh, begin to uh, ch check this task and uh, fix together. So as you can see, this is a very regular residential uh, area and uh, the building has been uh, divided by the street, uh, by the road into a few blocks and we can check it block by block so we don't uh, so we can make sure there's no missing from uh, our work <clears throat> so let's take a look at the first block as we can see that uh, as, we, as we have said that we should assume and the uh, result from the stage one feature is correct including the sidewalk road driveway all right so we only need to make sure that we stay on the uh, man-made feature or this parking, payment, sports bar, and swimming pool. So let's take a look together. <clears throat> so first, let's check here. So since you can see, this is a very clear bare land, and uh, a little bit of this uh, payment is being excluded too much. So in this case, we can use the repair tool to uh, repair it. And for here, as you can see, there's a bit, uh, bare land in the backyard. So just simply use the repair tool to fix it. All right, as you can see, now this result is okay. And for here, you know, because we cannot tell this part uh, clearly, we don't know it's pavement or bare land or grass, so we should just keep this original result. All right, and uh, there's nothing else for this block. And for here, this part is uh, no pavement, no clear pavement, so we're not going to do any editing for this part. And let's keep going. So swimming pool has been captured pretty well. We should keep it payment this payment is clear and uh, we should leave this as default result and for here as you can see this two area is actually bare land so we can just delete the payment and uh, continue as you can see this part you know uh, maybe this is a little bit of the payment but, but because we don't know it's too ambiguous so we just need to make sure the shape of the result is reasonable and beautiful so in this case I am I as you can see that I use a filling tool to make sure this side of the pavement is more reasonable and beautiful. And for this part, you know, it, it's not clear, and uh, I feel like this is bare land, so I'm just going to fix this shape more reasonable and beautiful. For this part, as you can see, it's bare land and there's a forest on it, so I'm going to delete it. And let's keep going, as we can see. You know, it's very, you know, actually there's not much payment in the front and backyard, right? And this backyard payment has been captured pretty well, so I'm not going to delete it. And for this part, as you can see, there's a missed payment, right? So for the missed payment, always, you know, use the filling tool to draw for this part, right? And it looks very good now. And for here, right, because I don't know what's... What's be, what, I, I cannot tell uh, perfectly, uh, I cannot be certain about what's there. So in this case, I'm just going to fix this shape to a more re uh, regular and uh, reasonable shape. Then this block is done. Okay, then we can move to the next block. You know, for this part, this shape is good and it's a little bit ambiguous. I'm going to just uh, leave this as default result. And uh, for the parking, as you can see, this parking is marked as outside parking. And we can re review the training document about the definition for outside parking. So for outside parking, we can see that parking that is built on the outside of road or driveway with clear parking lines in most cases, right? However, in this example we are seeing here, it's not, right? This is a ground and we can tell very clear that this parking it's more like a ground parking, like this uh, big area of parking. So in this case, we need to change the category to parking. But if you're not sure, then it's okay to leave as um, outside parking. And for this one, it's uh, it's better result, right? This one has uh, been marked by parking by system uh, clearly. So this is correct. And we can see there's a uh, pavement in this area. And uh, so we can uh, use the filling tool to draw for this missing very easily. And then move to here, as you can see, this park, uh, this pavement is not clear, right? 
is blocked by trees. So in this case, what we need to do, we just need to keep the shape reasonable and uh, beautiful. So this, you know, spike at here is not reasonable, right? So we can just make this to a more uh, straight line to look to make it look back beautiful. And then we can continue for this area. As we can see, you know, this is all grass, bare land, not much pavement. And for this one, because it's not very clear, so in this example, I'm going to leave this system result. All right. And for here, it all looks pretty good, actually. And uh, there's a maybe, I think there's a small parking missed in this area. So I'm going to use the filling tool, click on it, and the press space. So now this one has been saved pretty well. And for the example here, clearly we can tell this is grass. So it's marked by system as a pavement. So in this case, we can use the repair tool to fix it. And for this parking at here, clearly this one, there are the cars parked here and it's outside the road. So it fits the definition of outside parking. In this case, we can save this, uh, the save this system result as outside parking. And we can continue to here. And uh, this is payment very clear. So I'm not going to uh, change it. And for this one, it's also, um, yeah, it's a little bit ambiguous, and, but, the reason, but the shape is very reasonable and looks very beautiful. So I'm going to save this as default result. And for this one here, you know, because it's um, very, it's, um, you know, ambiguous, it's not clear. So I'm going to save this as default result. And for here as well. And this little swimming pool here, it's been captured pretty well. So in this case, this block is also done. And then let's move to the next block. But uh, here, as we can see, we got a payment, you know. Um, so we can see that in the backyard, the little, little bit of small payment has been missed. So we can simply use the filling tool to capture those. All right, and for this ambiguous cases blocked by trees, I cannot tell it uh, clearly. Uh, so I'm going, but I feel like this should be a payment in the backyard. So guys, you can use the filling tool to draw the shape reasonable, then that's fine. And I'm going to save the result for the rest of the payment. And for the parking, it's pretty good. And outside parking face definition is outside the road. That is built outside the road and there's a parking line. So this is okay to mark as outside parking. And for this payment, as you can see, uh, you know, the shape is a little bit too weird, right? So in this case, I'm going to uh, fill in this, I'm going to fill in this part as parking. Oh, sorry, as, pay, as payment. All right. And uh, for here, I think this part, you can also fill this with parking. Oh, sorry, with payment. All right. And the rest of it is pretty good. Then let's continue. All right. And the payment, you know, payment backyard is very clear. And for this one, it's a little bit too ugly. So in this case, I'm just going to make it a little bit more reasonable. And uh, there's a payment, you know, on the outside of this driveway. So we can make this as payment. And the payment with, uh, in the backyard with swimming pool, a pretty nice result. So I'm not going to change anything. And for this one, it's already pretty good. Okay, so I'm not going to fix it. And the payment in this here area is also the sh because it's blocked by tree, it's not clear. So I'm going to save this result. It's because it's unreasonable and uh, looks pretty beautiful. And for this one here, grass payment capture well. So good. Let's move to this uh, last block. So for this block, as you can see, uh, we got a long driveway uh, here and here. And uh, there's an outside parking that's been marked by the system. So the outside parking is usually built on outside the road or long driveway. And this actually fits the definition perfectly. So in this case, so uh, I'm not going to change anything because this is already a good result. The shape of the, pay, uh, the parking looks uh, very nice. So uh, keep it. And uh, let's continue. As you can see, there's no pavement here. And for this swimming pool, it's not, uh, it's actually kind of uh, too ugly. So we can repair it to match it better.
and uh, let's continue. So you see, there's no payment, it's all grass and bale land. So in this case, um, maybe there's a payment in the backyard of here. Uh, we cannot tell easily, we cannot tell very well. Uh, we can see this is actually there are grass on it. So in this case, this is actually a uh, bale land. So in this, so we can just use the repair tool to make, to make it look good. And for this part, you know, because it's blocked by trees, uh, so we just need to keep the shape reasonable and beautiful. Then that's everything you need to do for this task. It's super easy. As you can see, if I'm not uh, um, on this training, doc, uh, training video, I can easily finish this within five minutes. Follow the key rules and the, the tips for, to speed up, and you will find out there are actually not much editing to do. <clears throat> Let's take a look of another uh, urban residential area task. All right, in this task, uh, let's begin. So as we have said, we'll just need to keep the, you know, assume the um, land, land cover stage one feature is correct. So the road driveway, we can just ignore, and also the dry, uh, sidewalk, right? And we can see here, this outside parking has been drawn very well, and uh, there's no need to fix anything. It fits definition. And for this one, uh, you know, someone may think this is a parking or, uh, you know, it's a little bit ambiguous in this case, but uh, we don't need to uh, get confused or st spend too much time to determine which is which. Uh, you can mark this as payment or parking, all right, in this case. And uh, for this one here, we just need to make sure that the shape is more reasonable. So, for example, we need to exclude the forest and grass around here and then fix the shape for this part better. You know, we need to exclude the forest and the bale land grass near there. So this one is done. And then we can continue to check here. All right, this payment has been drawn pretty well. And a little bit part of the payment has been missed here. So we can use a filling tool to draw the missed one. And for here as well, so make sure you are connect the payment to the building and driveway. So now this one is also done. And for those front, payment as you can see here um, it's not clear we can uh, assume it's correct so uh, leave as default and for this one here uh, i think the front the backyard is bare land so in this case i would uh, i would suggest you to only leave uh, the part in the between the building so delete this back backyard payment and for this outside parking labeled by system uh, it's not very accurate because we cannot see the parking line or cars parked there, so it's better to mark as payment. So this one, payment, this is okay. All right, and uh, so for this block, you know, I think it's basically almost everything. And for this one here, a little bit of the uh, payment between the building has been missed. So oh, let me see. So in this case, I think uh, it actually, you know, from the, from the front yard of this building, connecting to this building, and then we can uh, mark this part as payment. It's more reasonable. And for this one uh, here, I think this is a payment in the backyard be up uh, behind of this forest area. So in this case, we can use the street line and all the um, you know red angle tool to draw this part. All right, then uh, the payment in this block is done. Then let's continue to move to here. All right, check the um, features block by block well, which will make sure that you didn't miss anything. All right, for this one here, uh, as we can see, the front yard at here, there is a payment at the front yard, also, you know, uh, between the building. So mark this as payment. And for here, that we can see, you know, this is bare land clearly, and this is grass in the front yard. So we can just delete it. All right, we, we only need to draw the payment, uh, we only need to draw the obvious paved feature. So for this, you know, it's bare land, very clear. So in this case, you know, uh, we can cut this and delete this unpaved bare land and leave this area, you know, in a reasonable shape, then that's okay. And for this one as well, you know, we can cut right here and delete this backyard and also this part that is bare land and uh, only keep this uh, paved area. All right, and check here, as we can see, I think this whole area, it's all um, 
actually it's all payment it's all bill end so in this case guys we need to delete it and for here as we can see i think it's almost you know all bill uh bill end <clears throat> so it's better to delete them and for the front yard um it's <clears throat> all grass you can see the grass so don't draw payment for them as well so usually you know in the backyard there's no no big such a big payment all right usually the backyard payment will be something like this uh will be something like this small all right it's like uh, the uh, balcony or the uh, only a small paved area in the backyard that's what it is a common case okay and uh let's move to here i think this is one you know it's a little bit ambiguous and uh i will leave this as a system result for this one here as we can see this one is actually clearly uh you know outside parking right it's uh, outside of the road and uh, it has parking line and there are cars parked um parked on it so it's better you know we sh should draw this area as uh, outside parking and the draw for the missed one use the filling tool and a uh, little bit uh, shape it's not captured well so use a cut tool switch to arc tool and delete this build and out so this block is also done and con let's continue uh, something here right it's a payment uh, it's outside parking and in this case you know we need to fix the uh, the shape more correct because this is bare land that's been included into the outside parking okay and this is grass and we can continue just assume this road and driveway is correct okay unless you see the obvious errors or the uh, all the previous result from the stage one has affected you to draw the stage two features so that's when you can uh, do the fixing do the repair on the uh, land cover stage one feature a little bit and for this uh, you know build that clear build end you can uh, delete it all right and we can continue you know for this part uh, for this part i think this part is um a parking or payment you can draw both but uh, what we need to do is we need to fix the shape you know to exclude the bail end and for here such a fake payment right we need to exclude them right, this is actually grass and the bail end very clear so leave this part as a pay, uh, big payment or parking it's okay and for this one here right um this is what i have said so this one is a big arrow this actually is a outside parking so in this case guys you can uh draw this together and uh leave this whole area as outside parking then that is okay and let's continue to here right this part you know uh, the payment shape is not uh, well captured so let's um fix the shape to a more reasonable one leave this uh ambiguous cases out and for this part you can fill in so as you can see the overall shape looks better and for this you know it's actually payment not outside parking and uh let's continue you know i think this front yard you know it missed the payment so we can use a filling tool to draw this part very quickly and for those front yard it's uh, very ambiguous it's very ambiguous all right so just don't draw anything for it and for this uh, as you can see this is a small payment missed between these two buildings so let's uh, draw this part out same thing goes to here all right it uh, looks like it's paved so let's draw this paved area and for this one as you can see this is clearly a bail end so um let's delete this payment here and for here we can i, I think this is a missed payment on uh, here so use the filling tool to capture for the bail end ignore and for the front and for this two between and for this payment between these two building mm, it's a bit it's a little bit ambiguous but i think it's paved so we can keep it and the same thing for here right the shape is reasonable and uh, it looks good so uh we should keep this as uh, original result so these two blocks it's also done as you can see it's actually very fast we can uh, check it like we do for the reading repair like um in the s sequence so we can make sure that we didn't miss anything okay for the obvious uh, payment let's capture those and uh, also this one right follow the shape use the filling tool to draw this missed payment 
And for this one in the backyard, let's uh, also use a filling tool to draw it. All right, let's also like this one here, same thing. So just um, look for those paved feature that is, has very clear characteristic and we can uh, draw a reasonable shape based on that. And for this one here, I think it's paved, right? And the shape is a little bit uh, wrong. So we can use a filling tool and uh, to make the shape more reasonable. And let's check this uh, backyard. As we can see, this actually in this area, it's um, pretty, pretty like buildant. So in this case, I'm going to keep the pavement in the front yard and uh, keep this pavement that is in, in the backyard has clear sign of pavement, right? It has fence and the color is different than buildant. And then for this uh, whole buildant, I'm going to delete it. So just cut the pavement out, cut the pavement with very clear and obvious uh, characteristic and uh, delete those fake pavement. You know, and the front yard, simply draw a line to close this area and uh, use the filling tool, it will make your editing super fast. Right, for this area, I think some of the grass has been captured, so we can uh, make this smaller. And for this one, it's, um, I think this area is a little bit missed, so I'm going to use a filling tool to draw for the missed part. Okay, and for here, right, uh, for here, I think, the front yard, it's payment. So let me see. I'm going to use a filling tool. Right, it should be from here. So this area is payment. Very good result. And don't don't forget about here. Something here. All right, this is the payment. And for this one. The shape is too ugly. Make sure the shape should be reasonable and beautiful. And for here, you know, obviously paved. So I'm going to capture this area. And for this one, paved. All right. And for this big area of the pavement, as we can see, this is actually clear a pavement here. But anything goes beyond behind here. It's buildant, so let's delete it. But I think this front yard also has a payment here, so I'm going to delete, keep this one. All right, and uh, it's all grass in the front yard. There's no sign of payment. Uh, maybe here, right? This area is a little bit ambiguous. Uh, so I'm going to try to capture it uh, based on a reasonable guessing and make sure the shape is uh, reasonable. So I think this one should be uh, good. And for here, mm, you know, for here it's more like a build and color. It's pretty yellow and brown. So I'm going to delete it. So now this block is also done. Let's move to here. All right, same thing, right? It's fake pay fake payment. It's clearly that it's build and and we can only I can only see that part of the uh, backyard of this building has a sign of the payment. The color is uh, asphalt. So I will keep this as a uh, payment and delete the rest of it. All right, and let's continue. You know, check the front yard and the backyard of the residential building. Those are the ma ma major area of the missing payment. So uh, make sure you, you won't, don't miss those obvious ones. So for the ambiguous ones, you don't need to spend your time to, uh, you know, to check those. It's um, just miss, just uh, ignore those. It will make your work very fast. And for for example here, right? We cannot see clear sign of payment. It's all built and just simply delete it. And for this one here, uh, so keep the original result and uh, fill in those payment. This one as well. I think this is a payment. Mm, because it's a little bit ambiguous, so I'm just going to make the shape more reasonable, like this. All right, and uh, it's, you can see the flower bed in the front yard, so I'm not going to feel anything for the front yard. Same thing for here, right? We can clearly see this is all uh, built-in, and I uh, don't need to draw anything for it. 
And however, for the front yard, we can see that it has a paved feature. So make market payment. And for this backyard, we can tell the color, you know, it's um, different than the building, right? It's more gray and uh, more like um, concrete. So I'm going to fill in for this building. It's around surrounding of this building. It's payment. This one, fake building or fake fake payment. You can delete it. And for this one here, we can see that it's actually uh, more like a bay, bear land, right? And but we have a swimming pool mist here. So in this case, I'm going to use Octo G to draw the swimming pool based on the image. And for this area, as we can see, this is actually payment, right? You can see it's gray, looks like concrete. So in this case, so I'm going to capture those missed part, use the filling by using the filling tool. For here, build end, right? Delete those. And uh, for here, I think it's um, payment, right? The color is different than the grass and the forest. So okay, we can keep that. All right, mm, that's basically done for this block. As you can see, it's very fast. And we are now at the last uh, few buildings around here. Okay, so front yard is a driveway. It's very nice result. And we just need to mark for uh, capture those missed payment. All right, and this payment is also, uh, we can draw this part to make the shape better. <coughs> and we can see in the backyard of this building, uh, of this driveway, um, we can tell this there is a very clear payment right here. So I'm going to capture it and the front yard as well. And uh, there's no missed payment in the backyard. And uh, some of the front yard uh, have this missed payment. So let's capture those. Right, I think the front yard is at grass, and uh, here I think it's better to fill in this area as payment. And uh, it's all good for here. Uh, some of the payment is missed at the front yard, so I'm going to draw for this. And this is a bit clearly bare land. All right, and for this part, uh, it's more like a parking, uh, outside parking, right? So we need to change this to outside parking and uh, fix the shape more reasonable and exclude the uh, non-paved area by using the repair tool all right so basically this part is almost down all right and we can continue to look for to check this block and there's a uh, outside parking and uh, i'm going to repair this to a better result and uh, missed of par outside parking here and for here it's clearly payment so i'm going to use the filling tool to draw this missed payment area uh, let me see is, if there's any missed payment in the front or backyard right so i think it's almost done for this area because i don't see any clear paved uh, feature well, let's continue to here. Uh, I think this is uh, a little bit payment. This uh, there is a payment. I think it should end at here, right? We can see clear grass, and for this area, uh, it's um it's a, it's actually pretty great than the um, uh, brown buildant. So it's better to keep as uh, pay, to keep this one as pay payment. And for here, we can see this one has a uh, payment. And I think this has payment from the front yard to the site and uh, part of the backyard is also payment so for this part you can delete it because it's all bare land all right I think this part actually you know has a backyard right here so I'm going to keep this one as well this is front yard clearly is payment however on the side of this building it's uh, you know Building. So I'm going to delete, uh, cut this part out. And for here, I think this payment ends at here. So I'm going to cut this part as well. 
and uh, for this part you can delete it for sure because all the build end with grass on it and for here and lastly I think I need to uh, cut this part out because I can tell this is a pavement side of this building so for this part that has been cut it's um, clearly it's build end right and we leave the pay payment that has clear evidence uh, as payment and delete the build end out and uh, for this it's already pretty good a little bit of payment in the backyard so I'm going to uh, use the building tool to draw this part all right so for this block as you can see there is actually a payment in the front yard so let's uh, cut this part out and delete the rest of it and for this um, no this is a very big arrow right this is, should be a driveway so this is some case that I need to uh, fix so this should be a short driveway and let's continue this one it's grass it's a driveway let's correct the result all right for here it's bare land I don't see much pay, uh, payment you know I don't see any actually I don't see any pay, uh, sign of the payment so I'm going to delete this part Oh, maybe there's a small payment here so I'm going to capture those and uh, actually payment in this front yard that is clear something no this is a flower bed right and uh, for here you know I think we missed a payment here so it's a feeling to, to capture it and uh, there's a little bit payment in this yard so capture those use a filling tool okay so this will be the last part of our this of this task also parking good result right it's a good category so we can uh, capture though capture this is actually pretty good even though it's not very straight uh, let me see yeah probably because it's part of the outside parking is blocked by trees so I'm going to draw the shape better like this and we cannot see the clear payment right in the front yard or the backyard so let's continue to check if there's any missed payment and for here you can see this area the color is much different right so in this example I'm going to draw this payment and fill in this uh, gap between these two buildings as payment same thing for here clear payment pattern right here and uh, yes okay it's bare land very clear bare land and, uh, i think there's a payment in here and the rest of that looks pretty good let's continue to here mm, this payment has been captured but i think there's a part of the payment is not very well so i'm going to use the repair tool to fix it all right to match it better right, i think the already overall the result is pretty good and um this payment is not being drawn very well so let me see i'm going to cut this part and uh, cut this part and because what I'm seeing here actually there's a little bit of payment in the, the, of this building and uh, a little bit of payment on this building for the for the uh, payment in the, in the in, in this middle part is uh, actually bare land and for here we can delete this part because it, we have trees and for here I think it should be marked as uh, outside parking because we see cars is parked here so in this case in this example in this case here let's use the filling tool to draw the outside parking for this area all right it's pretty uh, nicely done for this block okay lastly outside parking this is no problem but for here it's actually also outside parking but the overall shape is too bad so let's um use the delete it and uh, use the filling tool to do a very quick drawing for it 
very quick, right? So this outside parking has been captured. And let's check the payment again for the building in the front yard and backyard. Now some of the uh, front yard has this um, small payment and uh, also the area between these two buildings. So we can use the filling tool again to fill for those areas. Same thing for here, right? We can tell the paved area is actually very different than the bare land. It has different material, has different uh, surface, and a different uh, color. So uh, in this case, we can make sure that it's been captured. And lastly, that's here. I think the road is uh, not being captured well. So in this case, it's a very large, big, uh, big arrow. So I'm going to cut this part and delete it to make the road surface, road uh, boundary better. And there's a little bit of the payment has been missed. So I'm going to uh, draw this part out. So now this task is done. Very, very easy. And uh, it's actually a very dense task. And we can get a good benchmark, good pay from it. And uh, just follow the basic uh, rules about the um, missed payment, about the ambiguous cases, about uh, you know distinguish those between. For the ambiguous cases, you can just simply keep the shape reasonable. And for the obvious missed feature, uh, missed payment that is usually happening uh, in the front and the backyard of the residential building, and you need to draw a, a you know good beautiful shape for that. Okay, so that's um, how I should. That's how I finish this uh, urban urban task. Now let's take a look of this um, rural task and how we're going to do the rural task fast in the um, land cover stage two memory part. So let's start from this side. <clears throat> Same thing. We should assume the result from the uh, stage one is correct. And uh, let's take a look. So as we can see, this part has been uh, labeled as payment by the um, system. However, for this part, we cannot tell it's clearly payment, right? The color is very mixed and there are grass, even though the cars parked on here, I think this is area still on the construction. And uh, there's no clear sign of the paved uh, area. So it's better to keep this as a uh, payment. Then, oh sorry, it's better to delete this and uh, leave this as a payment, uh, bail land. And then we can check on this, near this big building, um, actually near this big building, it's all, uh, no, it looks like it's paved because it's very smooth and uh, the material is, uh, you know, very clear as a uh, paved material. So in this example, we should uh, fill in this part with um, payment. And uh, for those parts between the building and uh, the sidewalk as well. All right, and this one, this one is like grass, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to touch it. <clears throat> Same thing for here, you know, those gap between the building and sidewalk, they should be marked as payment as well. All right, something for here. Let's use a filling tool to do the quick editing for the. Then uh, for here, you know, uh, it's actually, uh, I think this area is actually, it's a uh, bail land. So I'm going to delete this. And uh, this is the payment in the middle. This is okay. All right, and uh, let's check this, um, you know, long driveway and outside parking. For this one, this one is actually should be outside parking and the system labeled it a little bit wrong. So mark it back. And for this one here, you know, this should be all pavement because we don't know what this area is, but it looks very smooth. Um, so I'm going to keep this as pavement. And for this one, it's like a bare land of grass because we can see the vegetation is uh, growing on it, on top of it. So don't uh, you know, draw payment for that. And uh, for here, sorry, this one should be payment. <clears throat> okay, and uh, this is basically a very good result already. And uh, for here, it's, um, I think it's better to mark as a sidewalk with the neighbor together. All right, so I'm going to merge them. And this part is uh, almost done. Okay, by the way, lastly, make sure we capture the boundary 
of the outside parking, good. And draw the other part as pavement. All right. So uh, this part of this big residential building, or sorry, business building, is done. Then for the residential building in the uh, you know in the rural area, uh, there's not much paved. And if you see the paved, it will be very clear. So for example, this one, right? Um, this one has a very different color than the building and has different uh, material in the building. So we need to keep this as payment. And, uh, you know, so for the front backyard, there's a little bit of payment being missed and you can easily spot. And for those back, uh, backyard that's been blocked by trees uh, very badly, so uh, for those, don't mark anything, okay? And for this one, it's good result, right? It's a payment very clear. And for here as well, you know, this uh, payment has been drawn very clear and uh, you can fix this a little bit better or not, right? It's okay to fix or not. And uh, it's already pretty good. And for the front yard, you know, uh, there is a payment in the, in the, I think this, uh, you know, it's a little bit ambiguous. So it's okay to draw or not. And for this, um, it's actually a missed uh, uh, driveway. So in this example, uh, if you want, uh, you can capture for those. And the long driveway leading to this residential area. And from this, we can easily very uh, tell that there is a uh, pavement, right? However, we don't know uh, where the boundary of the pavement is. So in this case, we just need to draw the shape of the pavement reasonable and beautiful. All right, same thing for here. No, it's pretty good. It's all very good result. And uh, you can see that this is a paved area. So uh, you can draw this area uh, based on what we see from the image. And uh, this will connect it to the building. The next labeler will draw this part based on my result. All right, and let's check here. You know, the payment has been, uh, no, this payment has been drawn pretty well, and this is all bare land and grass. And uh, we can tell that what is payment, what is not, by looking at the color and the material. So uh, for those missed parts, uh, we can just use the filling tool to draw a reasonable shape based on the image, like this, all right? Grass, bare land, right? And for this area. This is a pretty clear payment area, right? And uh, capture it. It's all good result. And the last is check here. Uh, I think this payment is okay, right? This is okay. And for here, it's also okay. And all those backyard payment has been captured pretty well. And we can ignore those um, build end on on the bottom of it. So now this um, you know rural task is also done. Very easy and very fast. Not much to edit, but when you come to when it comes to the um, commercial building, guys, you need to distinguish the outside parking and parking and uh, the pavement well. All right. So those area that has been painted with a parking line or the cars has been parked well on top of it you should mark it as parking. And if the area is outside of the road or long driveway, you should mark it as outside parking. And if the parking area with um, parking lines is on the road, then you need to draw overlap for that as overlap with inside parking with road. Next, let's check another rural task. So for this rural task, let's zoom in. So we can see there's a uh, road and uh, railway on that. And for this road, it's actually dirt road. So in this case, guys, if it's not connected with neighbor, make sure you delete those, all right? We don't require to draw the dirt road in this um, project. And let's continue to check. Um, no, we don't see any paved uh, area here, right? It's, maybe there's a little bit of payment right here. So use a filling tool to draw those missed ones and for this one as well and the driveway looks good and for here you know 
this is actually should be the same category and for the payment also surrounding this building it's good and the neighbor neighbor that is working on the next um, neighbor task is um, going to connect with properly and for here um, I think this area is better to mark as payment or parking all right um, it doesn't have the line character so I'm going to mark this as payment all right and this one here I don't think it has a very clear I think it's um a little bit too ugly for this shape so I'm going to cut this part and uh, exclude those unpaved area and uh, for this swimming pool I'm going to delete those and uh, the shape is too weird make sure you draw the shape reasonable and then for the swimming pool we can uh, use the filling tool to connect to the neighbor <coughs> connect to the pavement and uh, place down just like that all right so this is good so this uh, is all good and uh, for the driveway you know for this this should be the short driveway so you should uh, you can keep it you can change it or not all right it's all up to you and for this payment this is already okay all right this missed payment has been you know this backyard payment has been captured by system pretty well and uh this payment you know this actually should be payment for this whole yard and uh, the boundary of this payment is not very well it's captured some buildings all right and this is not also another payment and we can leave this front part as long driveway and uh we can this payment is good and uh, the long driveway it's um i think it's better to cut this part and mark this as what well, as outside parking all right and for this building payment in the backyard it looks good and uh for this um you know residential building for this area it's not uh, i think it's paved all right it's paved so i'm going to keep this uh, system result and this small payment look in the backyard here um, it's good so I'm not going to change anything and this payment near this factory building looks also good uh, for this one however for this one it's like a bell it's more like a building so I'm going to delete it then let's move to the last you know industrial area so for this area I think um, you can mark as payment or uh, parking so I'm going to mark as parking for this one and uh, this is payment this is okay payment long driveway but for this one you know it doesn't have a clear sign for payment right it's more like most likely it's building so I'm going to delete it and for, and for this part uh, let's, cu let's uh, cut and exclude those building part and only leave the clear payment area and for this area this looks Mm, good small payment has been missed so use the filling tool to capture it and for this it's a fake payment so make sure to delete it um, and it's very important that in the rural task guys you need to zoom out and check your neighbor area because sometimes for example if you are confused with this payment area mm, in your task then what you can do is you can refer to your neighbor task and check okay so this is like a you know farmland right it's more like a farmland so in this case for the farmland we need to delete it so the next laborer who is working on this neighbor task can connect with our task uh, very easily so that's how you should down that's how you should do it for the rural uh, land cover project task lastly it's um let's just take a look of the rules and the tips again all right so from the uh, demo of my work you can see that um, i have applied the rules to my work and i'm also using the tips for uh, to speed up my work so guys the arrow features with clear boundary should be no more than three pixels this is a basic rule basic uh, principle you should uh, follow and those 
ambiguous features, you only need to draw as reasonable and beautiful. And I have you know showed you guys many examples of, about that. And also, it's very important that you need to default stage one feature, and uh, it's correct. So you don't need to actual time checking it. So you only fix big errors when you encounter by chance. And I have also showed you guys uh, when and how I fix the stage one feature. You know, whenever it's actually affecting me to fix the then stage two feature, uh, or it's very big error. Number four is uh, you know you only need to draw the obvious memory features, and you don't need to draw any unexisting things. So as uh, from my work, you, you can also tell that I only do the repair do the main main feature that is obvious and for those ambiguous cases i usually uh, it's either i fix it to a reasonable shape or i would delete it i will not draw any existing things so uh, especially for a swimming pool or sports ground and as you can see i also apply the tips for my work as you can see i always use the repair tool or cut tool to edit the best original result and for the missed features, I always use the filling tool uh, to draw the missed features. And for those unclear or ambiguous cases, I will just ignore them. I will not fix them as long as the shape is reasonable and beautiful. And lastly, as you, you also remember the last rural task that you don't need to distinguish perfectly in ambiguous cases, especially you know, for parking or payment when you cannot tell you cannot tell 100% sure about whether it's parking or payment. So you can uh, mark it as parking or either parking or payment. So it's um, uh, either choice is okay. So that's all for the uh, labeler demo, work demo for the land cover stage two feet, uh, project. I hope you guys can follow uh, what I did and apply the rules and tips for you to speed up. And it's actually a very easy and a very exciting project. Uh, you will, you know, by applying this, and by reviewing the training document and the examples, you will work very fast and earn a lot. That's all for the uh, work demo. Thank you, guys.